what if I told you there's a single project right now that could rewrite Sierra Leone's future? No, it's not a new diamond discovery, a foreign billionaire, or a political revolution. This isn't about promises made on campaign trails or theoretical economic miracles. It's something far more powerful and practical. Electricity. In this video, we're diving deep into the Nant Multi-Fuel Power Plant in Freetown, a game-changing project backed by over $400 million. It's poised to not only illuminate homes, but reignite an entire nation's hopes. And by the end, we'll explore why this plant might be the missing link in Africa's clean energy transition. Let's go back a bit. For decades, electricity in Sierra Leone has been more of a luxury than a right. Power outages, better known as blackouts, are daily occurrences, even in the capital, Freetown. As of 20 to 25, more than 70% of the population still lives without reliable access to electricity. Imagine trying to run a hospital, a school, or even a small store when the power can vanish at any moment. Generators roar to life across Freetown every night, guzzling expensive diesel and polluting the air. From young students struggling to study under candlelight to business owners losing customers due to failing freezers and flickering lights, electricity scarcity has taken a toll on Sierra Leone's dreams. The country has tried. Solar farms have been deployed and hydro dams have been constructed. But they can only do so much when the sun sets or the dry season arrives. And that brings us to what might just be the country's biggest step forward yet. The Nant Multifuel Power Plant. A 105 megawatt combined cycle gas turbine, CCGT facility, that could change everything. To understand why this project matters, you have to first understand just how deep the energy problem runs. Sierra Leone, a country of over 8 million people, only produces around 150 megawatts of electricity. That number sounds technical until you realize what it means. The vast majority of the country lives in the dark. In Freetown, blackouts are so common that people have adapted to living around them. Emergency rooms operate on fragile backup systems. Children do homework using flashlights or kerosene lamps. Mobile networks collapse without warning. Cold storage for food and medicine becomes a daily gamble. Diesel generators are everywhere. From market stalls to five-star hotels, they serve as a lifeline. But this lifeline is expensive, noisy, and unsustainable. Fuel prices are volatile and not every business can afford the luxury of constant refueling. Yes, solar and hydro are part of the picture, but they're intermittent. Solar power fades with the sun and hydroelectric dams are at the mercy of unpredictable rainfall. What the country needs is something stable, powerful, and consistent. Now, here's where it gets interesting. In November 2024, Sierra Leone achieved something monumental financial closure on the Nant Multifuel Power Plant. This isn't a blueprint or a distant hope. It's a fully funded, already under construction facility designed to add 105 megawatts to the grid, a nearly 70% boost to the national capacity. The Nant project is no ordinary plant. It uses combined cycle gas turbine technology, which essentially means it squeezes more electricity out of every unit of fuel. It burns gas to generate electricity, then captures the waste heat to create even more power. It's cleaner and more efficient than older thermal plants. But let's talk about the money. This is a $412 million investment. That's real hard cash coming from serious backers. The U.S. International Development Finance Corporation is providing $292 million in debt financing. The ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development added another $40 million. Anerj Group and TCQ Power stepped in with $85 million in equity. The plant will be constructed by global infrastructure giant Shaporji Palanji using Siemens Energy gas turbines, some of the most trusted tech in the energy industry. Groundbreaking began in June 2024. With a 36-month timeline, the NAMP plant is expected to go online in Q3 of 2027. This project is not just a proof of concept, it's a new industrial heartbeat for Sierra Leone. So what happens when the lights stay on? Everything changes. When that switch is flipped in 2027, Sierra Leone's entire energy landscape will shift. Hospitals will no longer need to pray their backup generators hold out. Life-saving machines can operate uninterrupted. 
Schools will be able to use digital tools and keep classrooms cool even during peak hours. Small shops and market women will have the chance to preserve goods longer, cutting down on waste. Restaurants, hotels, and factories will be able to plan better, hire more, and grow faster. Telecommunication towers will operate 24 seven, boosting everything from mobile banking to emergency response systems. At the household level, families will experience peace. No more sweating through hot nights or cooking dinner in darkness. Kids can finally study in well-lit rooms without the smell of smoke from kerosene lamps. And the economic effects? Massive. Businesses currently spend up to 30% of their operating costs on fuel alone. With grid electricity, that expense drops dramatically. That extra cash can go toward hiring more staff, buying better equipment, or expanding operations. But here's something that takes this project to another level. Flexibility. The Nant power plant in Sierra Leone is not just any typical power facility. What makes it stand out is its ability to adapt. Unlike conventional plants that rely solely on one fuel source, the Nant plant is designed with a unique multi-fuel capability. It can operate using liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, liquefied natural gas, LNG, or other cleaner burning fuels depending on what is most readily available and affordable at any given time. This kind of design ensures the plant can shift as global energy markets change. It protects Sierra Leone from being overly dependent on a single energy source, which is crucial for both energy security and economic stability. But this project isn't just about producing energy, it aligns with a bigger picture. The Nant plant plays a key role in advancing Sierra Leone's green growth plan and its just energy transition agenda. These national strategies recognize the current necessity of fossil fuels to meet immediate energy demands, especially in a developing economy. However, they also emphasize a gradual and sustainable transition toward renewable energy over time, ensuring that development does not come at the cost of long-term environmental goals. To further build confidence around the project, the U.S. government has provided over $120 million in political risk insurance. This major backing signals to international investors that the project is not only visionary, but also secure. Everything sounds promising, right? But the real question remains, is gas truly a bridge to a cleaner future or just a convenient delay? Let's look at the hidden role of gas in the green energy race. This is where most conversations take a turn. Ask anyone who is deeply passionate about the climate and they'll quickly point out a major issue. Gas is a fossil fuel. It contributes to greenhouse gas emissions and plays a role in the warming of our planet. From a strict environmental standpoint, it's not the final solution we're aiming for in the fight against climate change. But here's the thing. When you take a step back and consider the real world, immediate energy demands of developing nations, gas doesn't come off as the villain. Instead, it becomes something else entirely, a bridge. The real value of natural gas lies in its flexibility and reliability. Unlike solar and hydro energy, which depend heavily on weather and seasonal conditions, gas can deliver power around the clock, whether it's day or night, raining or dry. It can step in when thick clouds block the sun or when droughts lower water levels, rendering hydro plants ineffective. Modern plants like Nant's Combined Cycle Gas Turbine CCGT facility are far more efficient and significantly cleaner than old coal or oil-based plants. Gas doesn't undermine the push for renewables. It supports it. It helps stabilize grids and provides energy security while countries build long-term infrastructure for solar, wind, and hydroelectric power. Imagine Sierra Leone in the year 2030. The streets of Freetown and villages deep inland stay lit even during heavy rainstorms. Homes remain powered, refrigerators hum steadily, and children in remote areas access e-textbooks from their tablets without interruption. Across the country, the glow of computer screens fills cyber cafes where entrepreneurs charge not only devices, but new ideas and ambitions. This is not a distant dream. It's the vision sparked by the Nant Multi-Fuel Power Project. But this transformation is about more than just infrastructure. It's a shift in economic and strategic independence. Currently, Sierra Leone spends vast sums annually to import diesel and other fossil fuels, money that exits the economy with every shipment. Each truckload of fuel represents a risk, a point of failure. By investing in domestic power generation, Sierra Leone keeps capital within its borders, fueling job creation from construction workers to engineers, 
to entrepreneurs whose businesses thrive on stable electricity. There's also a deeper meaning, dignity. For too long, Africa has been seen as a passive recipient of foreign aid, hand-me-down tech, and charity. But with projects like Nant, the story changes. Sierra Leone shows it can lead, not follow, building a future defined by innovation, resilience, and pride. The implications of this project extend far beyond the borders of Sierra Leone. If the Nant multi-fuel power plant proves successful, it could become a powerful model, not only for West Africa, but for the entire African continent. It represents a new blueprint, one that shows how nations with limited access to reliable electricity can harness the strength of public-private partnerships to bypass outdated, inefficient infrastructure and leap straight into modern energy solutions. This project teaches an important lesson. Energy development doesn't have to wait for flawless, high-tech solutions. What it truly requires are dependable, practical approaches that can be implemented now. It also serves as a signal to global investors that when political commitment is combined with international support and cutting-edge engineering, even fragile economies can emerge as pioneers in the energy sector. Already, neighboring countries like Ghana, Liberia, and Guinea are watching closely. Their governments, investors, and energy stakeholders understand that what happens in Sierra Leone could spark a regional transformation and influence the future direction of energy investment across West Africa. Here's the twist no one saw coming. Gas may very well be the unsung hero of Africa's clean energy journey. Not because it's perfect, but because it makes perfection possible. While headlines celebrate solar panels and wind turbines, it's gas plants like Nant that provide the stability these systems need to succeed. Without them, every cloud could mean darkness. Every drought could bring silence. And here's what makes it all so powerful. This isn't theory. This is a real project in a real city, funded by real money, already being built. A project that could very well light the path, not just for Sierra Leone, but for an entire continent. Let's bring it all together. The Nant multi-fuel power plant is more than metal and machinery. It's a $412 million vote of confidence in Sierra Leone's future. It's a 100 of my metaphor leap forward in energy access. It's the reason a child might read at night, a patient might survive surgery, a business might expand. And it's a lesson that sometimes the way forward isn't choosing between gas or solar, but understanding how one supports the other. That resilience and progress often walk hand in hand. If this story struck a chord with you, now's your chance to amplify it. Click the like button. Share it with someone who believes in Africa's potential. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss more deep dives into the continent's game-changing stories. But more importantly, what do you think? Should Sierra Leone continue using gas as a stepping stone or shift harder toward renewables even if the road is bumpy? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one. Until next time, keep believing in what's possible.